Hello everyone, welcome back to Physics HQ. This is Professor Sandeep, your tutor for the class 12th lecture series. Continuing with the lecture series of solving MCQs and sums, today we will be covering the second part of textbook unsolved sums of chapter 11 magnetic materials. We have already covered the MCQs and part 1 of sum solving. Please check it out by clicking on the top right i icon if you have not done it yet. Let us start with the first sum. A magnetic needle placed in uniform magnetic field has a magnetic moment of 2 into 10 raised to minus 2 ampere meter square and moment of inertia of 7.2 into 10 raised to minus 7 kg meter square. It performs 10 complete oscillations in 6 seconds. What is the magnitude of the magnetic field? So the formula that we will use here is T is equal to 2 pi root of I by M into B. Now we are supposed to find the magnetic field B over here. So if we square like if we rearrange it, then we will have the equation B is equal to 4 pi square I upon M into T square. I moment of inertia already given by magnetic moment also given by time period here. We will take the time period for the time period. It completes 10 oscillations in 6 seconds. So, how much oscillation for one oscillation? So, total time taken divided by the total number of oscillations. What will you give? Time to complete a single oscillation. That is, time period you will get. So, we got the time period of 0.6. Let us put all the values here. So, 4 into 3.142 square into 7.2 into 10 raised to minus 7 divided by Magnetic moment is 2 into 10 raised to minus 2 into T is 0.6 Uska square Ye 2 2 is 4 ho jayega. Now yaan pe log use karna padega. When you solve this by log You will get 39.48 into 10 raised to minus 4 Weber per meter square Ya Tesla bhi lik sakte ha. If you have any issues with how to use log book for solving sum Please click on the top right i icon and Check the video for how to use logbook for solving sums. Let us go ahead with the next sum. A short bar magnet is placed in an external magnetic field of 700 Gauss when its axis makes an angle of 30 degree with the external magnetic field. It experiences a torque of 0.014 Newton meter. Find the magnetic moment of the magnet and the work done in moving it from the most stable to the most unstable position. So, first of all, the external magnetic field is 700 Gauss. Hua, but standard unit, SI unit is Tesla. Now, remember this. 1 Gauss is 10 raised to minus 4 Tesla. So, if we multiply 10 raised to minus 4, se multiply karenge, ho 0.07 Tesla. Now, to find the magnetic moment, we will use the formula for torque experience. This is given by magnetic moment into field multiplied by sine of angle between them. So, here M ho jayega, tau by B sin theta. Let us put all the values. Torque is 0.014. Magnetic field is 0.07. Sin of 30. Now, here you divide karoge, 0.2 a jayega. And sin 30 is 1 by 2. So, upar jake wo 2 ho jayega. So, finally, we will have magnetic moment as 0.2 into 2, which is 0.4 ampere meter square. Next, they have asked you find the work done in moving it from the most stable to the most unstable position. Now, remember this, we have discussed this in the first part. If the magnetic field is in this direction, then the so magnet will align itself in this direction. Mein khud ko align kar leta. And this is the most stable position. Here, its potential energy is minimum. Hota. Now, rotate it to the most unstable position is that you rotate it 180 degrees. Ulta kar do. So, it is the most unstable position where the potential energy is the maximum. Hota. So, work done in doing this is given by the formula Mb cos of theta 1 minus cos of theta 2. Theta 1 is the initial position and theta 2 is the final position. So, this will 0.4 into B is 0.07 cos of initial angle is when the magnetic field is aligned with the angle hota hai 0 degree minus Cos of most unstable position, this is 180 degree rotate, so this is 180. This is equal to 7 fours are 28, so 0.028 is 
cos 0 is 1 and cos of 180 is minus 1. So here we have 1 minus of minus plus 1, yani 2. So 2 into 0 0.028 will give us 0 0.056 joule. This is the work done in this case. Let us check out the next sum. A magnetic needle is suspended freely so that it can rotate freely in the magnetic meridian. In order to keep it in the horizontal position, a weight of 0.2 gram is kept on one end of the needle. If the pole strength of the needle is 20 ampere meter, find the value of vertical component of Earth's magnetic field. G ka value lena 9.8 meter per second square. Now please understand, if a magnetic needle hai, kuch is tarah se, aur wo freely suspended hai, अब होता क्या है कि हर जगह पे मैग्नेटिक फील्ड जो अर्थ के सरफेस पे है वो हॉरिजॉन्टल नहीं होता इसका एंगल चेंज होते रहता है इफ दिस इज द अर्थ देन वी नो दैट मैग्नेटिक लाइंस ऑफ फोर्स विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द साउथ पोल और जाता कहां पे नॉर्थ पोल पे ये सेक्शन में यू फाइंड कि द एंगल इज नॉट हॉरिजॉन्टल टू द सरफेस यहां पे आप बोल सकते हो कि हां हॉरिजॉन्टल है वंस अगेन यहां पे यू सी कि मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज नॉट हॉरिजॉन्टल कंप्लीटली हॉरिजॉन्टल तो वो बेसिकली थोड़ा सा इंक्लाइंड होता है सरफेस को सो लेट अस से अगर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड थोड़ा सा इंक्लाइंड है टू द हॉरिजॉन्टल तो ये नीडल भी क्या होता है थोड़ा सा बेंड होता है नीचे की तरफ जिसको हम लोग डिप बोलते हैं और यहां से डिप एंगल का कांसेप्ट भी आता है सो so, ये मैग्नेटिक फील्ड जो है इसको हम दो कंपोनेंट में रिजॉल्व कर सकते हैं हॉरिजॉन्टल कंपोनेंट और वर्टिकल कंपोनेंट एंड वी आर सपोज्ड टू फाइंड आउट व्हाट इज दिस वर्टिकल कंपोनेंट का वैल्यू now this vertical component is trying to push this needle downwards ya wo torque provide ho raha hai because of this magnetic field and torque ka formula kya hota hai yahan pe m into b into sin theta ab magnetic moment to yahan pe horizontal rahega vertical field hai to dono ke beech mein angle ho gaya 90 degree to sin 91 ho jata hai so the torque aata hai because of this magnetic field is equal to m into b now what is this m magnetic moment magnetic moment is nothing but pole strain into the length of the magnet into ye magnetic field to hai ye aur ye jo magnetic field hai ye kya hai vertical hai now to avoid ki ye yahan pe dip hoye opposite side mein kya kiya ek mass attach kiya hua hai isko aur ye mass ki wajah se iska niche ki taraf jo weight hai that is equal to mg jo ek force ki tarah act kar raha hai taki isko balance kar sake now needle normally center se suspended rehta hai so that it is balanced now because of this mg yahan pe torque produce hoyega to balance this so ye jo balancing torque yahan pe aayega that will be given by the force mg into the length from the center to wo length of the magnet ka half ho jayega yahan pe now for this needle to remain horizontal ye dono kya hone chahiye same hone chahiye yani jo magnetic field ke wajah se torque aa raha hai नीचे की तरफ डिप करने के लिए दैट शुड बी बैलेंस्ड बाय द टॉर्क गिवन बाय द मास जो हमने अदर साइड पे रखा हुआ है इसका हमने ऑलरेडी फार्मूला बताया पोल स्ट्रेंथ जो कि दिया हुआ है 20 लेंथ ऑफ द मैग्नेट लेट अस से एल ले लेते हैं और मैग्नेटिक फील्ड तो यहां पे बी वी करके डिनोट करते हैं नाउ बैलेंसिंग टॉर्क हमने बोला m g आ जाएगा मास दिया हुआ है 0.2 ग्राम तो वो हो जाएगा 0.2 10 रेस्ट टू -3 kg into g ka value is 9.8 into half the length of the magnet so ye capital l dono side se cancel ho jayega ye 2 bhi aap cancel kar sakte ho 4.9 aa jayega now if you see what we are left with is 0.2 into 4.9 divided by 20 into 10 raised to minus 3 when you simplify this ye aapko finally answer mil jayega 4.9 into 10 raised to minus 5 tesla I hope आपको ये समझ में आए। Let us check out the next sum. The susceptibility of paramagnetic material is k at 27 degree Celsius. At what temperature its susceptibility will become one third? So initially जो magnetic susceptibility है, उसको हम लोग k से denote कर रहे हैं। इसको k i बोलते हैं। लिखने के लिए आप देखोगे तो c h i है। चाय बोलते हैं बहुत लोग, but ये k है। k i बोलने के लिए इस तरह से pronounce करते हैं। and afterwards what is happening the magnetic susceptibility is becoming one third so we have to find ki kaun se temperature pe ye ho raha hai basically now you can solve this by remembering ki the magnetic susceptibility is inversely proportional to temperature so you can write 
magnetic susceptibility initially upon magnetic susceptibility finally this is equal to t2 upon t1 we need to find t2 so rearrange kar dete t2 ho jayega magnetic susceptibility initially upon finally into t1 initially susceptibility was given by kai baad mein wo 1/3 ho gaya into temperature is 27 degree celsius kelvin mein ye ho jayega 300 तो ये कैंसिल हो जाएगा थ्री डिनोमीटर का डिनोमीटर से न्यूमिनेटर में आ जाएगा सो फाइनल टेम्परेचर हमें मिला 900 डिग्री केल्विन और इसको आप माइनस टू कर दोगे तो 627 डिग्री सेल्सियस मिल जाएगा ये रिलेशन कहाँ से आया अगर आपको ये समझना है सो रिमेंबर दिस फॉर्मूला बाय क्यूरीज लॉ मैग्नेटाइजेशन इज गिवन बाय सी बी बाय टी Now m of z can be written as susceptibility into h. This is equal to c. B can be written as mu not h divided by t. So both sides say h cancel ho jayega. C mu not constant hai. So from here we get ki susceptibility is inversely proportional to temperature. I hope you guys understand me. Thank you for your time. If you are finding this lecture series useful, then show us your appreciation by clicking on the like button and don't forget to share it with your friends and classmates. Based on your feedbacks and suggestions, we will be making videos under our five minutes lecture series for class 12. So please feel free to let us know the topics you want us to cover. See you all in the next class. This is Professor Sandeep from Physics HQ signing off.